Hello, my name is R. Blank, and I run SYB. Inspired by the life's work of my father, Dr. Martin Blank, one of the world's leading EMF scientists, it's my company's mission to help you shield your body from harmful EMF radiation and make technology safer for you to use and enjoy. Today I'm going to talk about the impact smartwatches have on your health. By the end of this video, you'll also learn how you can use your smartwatch more responsibly, so you can make the best of it without putting your health at risk. And if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Smartwatches have gained massive popularity in the past few years. In fact, smartwatch companies sold more than 22.6 million devices in 2020 in the U.S. alone. Smartwatches do many things other than telling the time. It can make phone calls, send text messages, run tons of apps, and monitor your health. Modern smartwatches also come equipped with additional features such as goal planning and alerts, volume detection, music streaming, SOS signaling for fall risk patients, and more. 20 years ago, you would have to carry tens of devices to use all of these functions, but today you have all of them right on your wrist. But do smartwatches also have disadvantages? Let's find out. Smartwatches use Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular networks to communicate with other devices as well as the internet. To do that, they have to emit EMF radiation. As thousands of research studies tell us, this type of exposure to this type of EMF is linked to numerous negative health effects, ranging from sleep disruption and anxiety, all the way up to more serious conditions like cancer. Although smartwatches can emit lower levels of EMF than cell phones and laptops, they still pose a significant health risk because of how they are designed to be used. When you wear a smartwatch on your wrist, you are exposing your body to a significant amount of EMF, at close range and for an extended period of time. In fact, some people do not take them off, even at night, which further increases your health risk. The distance and duration increase your exposure, and that's important. In other words, while EMF emissions from your smartwatch may be lower than from your phone, the way they are designed to be used, you are getting high doses of this radiation, which increases your health risks. So the best option is to avoid using smartwatches, and don't give them as gifts either. But while avoiding smartwatches altogether is the best defense and may work for some people, it is not the only option. If you still wish to use a smartwatch, there are safer ways to use it in ways that can help reduce your health risks. To help you do that, here are two big changes you can make. Tip number one is to use airplane mode. Like most electronic gadgets, smartwatches have a built-in airplane mode that you can use to cut your device's EMF emissions without powering it off. Turn the airplane mode on whenever you don't have a use for wireless connectivity on your smartwatch. Tip number two is not to wear your smartwatch at night. Electronic device manufacturers highly recommend against sleeping with your gadgets near your body. And this applies to smartwatches too. Remove the watch from your wrist at night and keep it in another room. If you keep it in the bedroom, put it into airplane mode while you're sleeping. So if you want to use smartwatches, those are the two biggest things you can do to make them safer and lower your health risks. If you want to learn more about reducing your EMF exposure, and living a healthier life, be sure to download my free guide at shieldyourbody.com or click the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.